We are getting ready to wrap up the month of July, which will end on kind of a mild note, and that goes with the way the month has gone, trending well below normal for temperatures. We've seen many more cooler days than warmer days, and our cooler days have been more extreme this month. A lot of that, of course, due to the rain. And just looking at all the green, uh, the darker green, more of the heavier rain events, but we've just had a lot of rain over this past month. In fact, it is the wettest July on record for both Springfield and for Westfield. This coming in from Westfield, they are now up to 12.82 inches. That is almost nine inches above average for the month, which is just ridiculous. Now heading into the month of August, the new outlook from the Climate Prediction Center has New England trending close to normal for precip. Here's hoping. We definitely don't want anything tropical coming up into New England, so that'll be something we'll be keeping a very close eye on next month. And as far as the temperature outlook goes, a lot of the northern tier of the country is trending warmer than normal, and that includes us here in New England with a decent shot at seeing some above average temperatures. So we're not done with summer yet, guys. But we do have a bit of a taste of fall coming our way for tonight. Now, August is uh, typically starting off in the lower 80s and ending the month in the upper 70s. We do tend to lose a lot of daylight this month, over an hour actually, and those sunset times come back to almost 730, actually past 730 by the end of the month. Temperature-wise right now, cooler air coming down out of the north and west. Burlington's only in the 60s. We are still close to 80 here, though, in the lower valley. And the dry air is already here. Dew points are dropping into the low 50s and already seeing some upper 40s. That blue on the map, that's what we love to see. It's not even on the chart because it is just refreshing. But we are going to stay pretty comfortable through the rest of the weekend. Dew points do come up Sunday, but nothing crazy. And they don't look crazy into early next week. I think Thursday and Friday, dew points may start to rise a little bit as we start to talking about return rain chances. Mostly clear tonight, cool, comfortable, mid to upper 40s, and tomorrow highs will be back to the lower and middle 70s. Not as breezy tomorrow, but plenty of sunshine and still very comfortable. Tomorrow's temperatures may approach upper 70s in Springfield, but I think we'll be more like mid 70s, a few upper 60s in the Berkshires and still upper 70s out toward the coast. Uh, looking at the radar right now, showers continue to die down throughout the northeast and it looks dry through the rest of tonight. Saturday will be a perfect outdoor day with plenty of sunshine. And then as we go into Sunday, I think we'll have kind of a mix of sun and clouds. There is the chance that we see some showers toward the end of the day, but I don't think we're going to see much until after sunset. So I think you'll get away with a pretty decent weekend. Monday is looking dry and warm. Tuesday, not bad either, just more clouds. Wednesday is also still kind of trending dry, but we do have to watch for a coastal low that could bring some rain our way by the end of the week. Chris, back to you.